Hey everyone, it's your professional sarcastic man and seeker of attention, Oz Chris, here with a review of Batman Damned number one, the start of DC's Black Label. I think official start, because I know if I remember correctly, uh, or if someone can correct me on this, uh, White Knight, Batman White Knight is technically a uh, Black Label story, but it wasn't, it's not recognized as like, the, the first official by DC. I think this is a uh, Batman Damned is supposed to be the one that kicks off the black label. And how did it go? I did definitely it. It kicked off with a great start in my opinion. I definitely I liked what I saw. I, it's a great story. So the premise, the premise of Batman Damned is that the Joker is dead, uh, and it's it's. Heavily implied that Batman was the one who did it, but he doesn't remember. And while this is happening, some supernatural kind of threat is haunting Batman's dreams, his memories as a kid. And as such, it gains the gains the attention of John Constantine and Dead Man. They are there to essentially help Batman figure out what's going on did he actually kill the joker is the joker actually dead who knows so first thing to note about this it's uh it's it's quite big it's a uh, pretty much a magazine essentially uh i don't know if this is going to be for all all of black label or just batman dan but uh it's different i <laughs> The uh, the uh, comic book store I go to, they had to make a note in the description for uh, when they put their uh, orders up on their site. Uh, the uh, next week, this week stuff, they had to dip, they had to put in the description cannot fit in bag and board. It's like oh okay, uh, maybe it was just maybe it's just slightly thicker. Like uh, here, if I get something from here, like. Go Go Power Range is like slightly. I would have thought it would just be like slightly bigger, but not not a magazine. <laughs> but anyway, getting to the story, I definitely enjoyed uh, Bemerjo. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Bemerjo, his his her. Bemerjo's art. I definitely enjoyed Bemerjo's art. It's very, very almost kind of realistic, surreal kind of way. Uh, would, I wouldn't really know how to describe it uh, without just saying this simple, I like it. It, 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 it's good. <laughs> no, I really, I really did like the art in the story. Very dark is what you need for Batman. You need a very dark setting with Batman. And Bermudra's art and the coloring definitely works well for this. And although there's, there's kind of a sometimes where Batman's face looks a bit weird like kind of like this one where it just kind of almost looks like the uh you know ben affleck's batman and in, in justice league where it looked like he put on a few pounds and the face was just like squ just squishing it was just squishing his face a bit uh but other than that the i thought that this was definitely a good start to this is a definitely a good start to the black label. It's a safe, it's a safe start to use Batman, considering this is black label supposed to be more mature. This is a more mature DC universe. Uh, uh, and they're not part of the main DC universe. They're their own separate own stories, their own universe. Unless I, I, I assume, unless said so, I don't. I don't believe all of Black Label uh, is interconnected to one to one another until they actually say so, or they it shows there's a reference like like if they're the Super One Superman comes out and they reference the Joker is dead Batman Batman accused of killing him then we'll see so it's a safe it's a safe option to use Batman to start a dark mature label dc's black label but i definitely i definitely liked it i definitely enjoyed it uh i definitely will be picking this up it it does help that it's only it does kind of help 
money wise, because this was twelve bucks for me, in uh here in Australia it's twelve dollars to pick this up. So it kind of helps that it's uh it's bi monthly instead of like weekly or bi weekly. So it's just like I don't have to <laughs> I I don't have to uh there's just a month in between where it's just like oh okay. And it's only ten, it's only three issues, so you don't really need a lot. What I got from it, it's kind of a essentially they put two issues into one. It could probably be why it's so why there's so many pages, why it's so big. But I didn't have any problems with it. Now into the matter at hand, a lot of people have been talking about this. It's the bat, uh, Batman's Batman's package. His. Uh, his own personal uh, battering. I'm not going to show it. Uh, the thing I really actually don't have a problem with Batman showing is, uh, is Dick Grayson. Because uh, to be fair, when I first read this, I did not notice it at all. Like, I was more, more focused on the story, uh, the dialogue and all of that. I didn't notice Batman's wang. Until somebody else pointed out, and then I looked back. I was like, "That's got to be photoshopped." And I looked back, and it's like, "Ah, oh, you can, you can see, you can see it." Okay, I sure, whatever. Mature, everyone. That's very mature. <laughs> I <laughs> just get my thoughts on that. It's like I don't think it's a particularly huge deal. It's like, oh my god, there's a penis in a comic book. What's next? They're going to put it in TV shows? The outrage. <laughs> I think... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone like... I haven't seen anyone else make a huge like fuss out of it that they saw Batman's Dick Grayson. <laughs> but honestly, who cares? It really didn't particularly enjoy my... It ruined my uh, enjoyment or interest of the story. So it's probably a one-off thing. So, who knows? <laughs> but, definitely, uh, if you haven't picked up Batman Damned, number one, or you're a bit worried about what it, what it would be like, I, I recommend it. Definitely pick it up if, if you can. And that's it for this video, and that's it for this review, and I will see all of you next time.